Hello everyone. Welcome to the admission talk of the Bachelor of Dental Surgery BDS program. I'm Dr. Mike Leung. I'm the Clinical Associate Professor in Dentistry. I'm also the admission tutor of the program. We're going to give you more details about studying dentistry in Hong Kong. There are several reasons of doing dentistry with us. First of all, we are among the top dental school in Hong Kong. We have been ranked three times in a row um, for world number one dental school in Hong Kong during the year 2016 to 2018. We have the world-class education of dentistry for over 35 years. Our graduates are well compensated and we use the mode of problem-based learning. We also have a big team of international teachers and researchers of more than 20 countries. We also have very good facilities, including clinical, learning, and research facilities. We have excellent support from the auxiliary staff, for example, dental surgery assistants, they are the dental nurses, dental technicians, and also laboratory staff. We have very well-respected health uh, profession, and we have a very wide range of career prospects as well. The faculty was established in 1982 and we are the only dental institute in Hong Kong. It is also recognized by the Dental Council after graduation, that you can practice dentistry after you graduate. The intake of the coming year will be uh, of a quota of 80. The curriculum is six years, and the clinical curriculum integrates the supporting sciences, including the biomedical, dental, and professional uh, sciences and we use the problem-based learning um, uh, as a, a teaching method to teach our students. There are two main key features of our curriculum, which includes the university core and also the professional core. University course includes those common core courses and the language courses, which students usually need to take them within the first two years. And then they have to learn a lot about our professional core, which includes the professional learning of the arts and science of dentistry. The problem-based learning is a uh, student-directed learning, which the teacher will facilitate the learning while the students have to initiate the learning process. For example, um, like a problem of a patient come in with a dental pain, and then that's it. And the student have to look for what causes the pain, why uh, our brain interprets the pain, and they have some time to find out the answers and they learn through this process. The good thing about PBL learning is that the students can learn independently and it's a group learning method and we can learn from each other. Apart from the PBL tutorials, there are also some practicals and also theme-based sessions to complement the, um, the whole learning process. The knowledge part also includes the uh, simulation laboratory sessions, which the students have to learn uh, the skills and also the science of doing uh, procedures in the oral cavity. And they will learn it in the simulation laboratory before they go to see a patient. A part of the learning will be in the dental laboratories. We call it dental uh, technology sessions. The students will learn to make um, laboratory work, for example, a dental crown or a denture in the lab before they are delivered to a patient. A very important part of our curriculum is the clinical practice. The student will see real patients from the second year to sixth year. In this five years of training, they will be uh, learning to treat a patient and before that to formulate a treatment plan, how to communicate with a patient, and they have five years of clinical training before they become a real dentist. The students are very encouraged to uh, deliver treatment and services in voluntary work. And we have um, scheduled community outreach clinics where the students can uh, go to see patients under the supervision of teachers to, uh, to deliver dental treatment in the community during the six years program. And apart from doing voluntary work in Hong Kong, they are also encouraged to go to different countries to do uh, international voluntary work 
and there are many opportunities for that. We look for uh, characters to be an ideal dentist and we hope our students will be able to serve the uh, community. They have an understanding and caring and sympathetic uh, character for the needs of others. Because it's an art and science, it's not just about studying, it's not just about uh, hand skill, but a combination of both. And on top, they need to know how to communicate with others, um, to patients and also to the auxiliary staff. To be a dentist, they need to diagnose, prevent and treat uh, pains and other different diseases in the oral cavity and also head and neck region. And also they will be uh, taught how to perform surgeries like implant um, surgeries or third molar surgeries. They'll also be taught how to educate patients to prevent oral diseases and also train uh, others, future dentists, to be dental professions. There are many opportunities to do research as well. The dentist is a leader of a dental team. They don't work by themselves. So apart from a dentist, the dental team also includes dental surgery assistant, dental hygienist, dental uh, technicians, and dental therapists. And the dentist is a leader of all these auxiliary staff. For the admission, we have JUPA students and also non-JUPA students. Or you may apply through the sports scholar scheme. You may uh, check out the uh, requirement, the basic requirement uh, to be admitted in uh, the uh, JUPAS, the HKDSE candidates. There are specific requirements. But we need our students to put our program to be the band A choice. For the non JUPAS uh, applicants, please put our program as a first choice because preference will be given to these candidates. And be reminded that the deadline of the application is uh, 12 noon on 22nd of November this year. And selected non jupa students will be invited uh, to, uh, to, to our interview. And we don't have a fixed quota for non jupas It depends on the quality of the applicants that year. And we will also take into account of other uh, character of the students apart from academic results. For the careers prospect, we are happy to tell you that dentists are uh, very um, well paid and they have uh, very good prospects and usually by the time they graduate, they will find a job. You may choose to be a dentist, but there are actually many other different paths that you may consider. For general dentists, it is actually more flexible and you can deliver a whole range of treatment to the population. But you may also choose to do a hospital dentistry, where you work in a hospital and you can cooperate with other specialists of other uh, disciplines uh, to see uh, and treat different kinds of patients, especially those with different medical conditions. Government dentists mostly serve civil servants, but they also uh, serve some of the public, and it's a different scope of um, career path as well. You may also choose uh, to work in the institute, for example, uh, in, in an NGO, uh, like the uh, Chilean Dental Clinic. Those are examples that you may choose to work in. Or you may choose to do further studies. We have different TOTS postgraduate programs where you can choose and you may uh, study this to become a specialist in one of um, the uh, subspecialty. Or you may like to do research, and we have MPhil program or PhD program, and you can do research and publish papers and uh, do have a science prospect uh, to be a scientist in dentistry as well. For more information, you may check out on our website, which is listed here, or feel free to email us for any other information. We hope to meet you in the future. Thank you.